just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. Gotta get the debt cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. How did I ever trust this asshole? Hello. Guess Schizo won't be needing this. <sighs> Gotta go see Addy, get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. Hey, you're gonna hurt yourself with that axe. <sighs> oh. Mm. I, I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. There are so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. So Addie's not a doctor, huh? Okay, so you're not a doctor and you still save Boozer's life. That's gotta count for something. Hey, Deke. So I wanna go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, 
My dad found Rasmus underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, he waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in Do peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because of Iron Mike? Is this some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Skizzo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Loser, I'm heading to the gate. You ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. He'll be there. <laughs> Damn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Harder ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, Whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah, yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, you won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. Finish this. Right behind you.
Following you. It's easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Schizo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, ho hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Rippers up here. Setting the second charge. And that's it. You got this? Yeah, yeah.
charge. Ricky called it the penstock, the big pipe at the base of the dam. I see it. Head over. Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? Let's, uh, let's go find Josie. Yeah. You, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. Looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You want some payback? I wish him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, Right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came and washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive?
Oh yeah, that's a breaker. Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and you kill that son of a bitch. I knew, I knew what 
Good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I know maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo said there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck yeah. out of here. I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Uh, nah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I... Maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. 
It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? Is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. You know what? I guess I'm good with that. <laughs>